Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL X12 which is finding conditional probabilities using two-way frequency tables. Okay, so these are very similar to the frequency tables uh, you see in X8 except the uh, conditions are going to be a little different. And this is how. So I'll read the question here. Kimberly designs bow ties for a local boutique store. The store manager counted the ties currently on display, tracking them by material and shape. We have a table here outlining that. What is the probability that a randomly selected bow tie is shaped like a bat wing, given, keyword given, that the bow tie is made of cotton? Okay, so what you're gonna be doing here is analyzing the keyword given. And you're gonna start with what is given. What is given that uh, what is given here is that the bow tie is going to be made of cotton. So given that it's going to be made of cotton, okay, so it's, you are, you are, um, uh, what's the term? You are promised that it is given, no, you are promised that it's going to be cotton already. Okay. So there's no, you know, having to deal with the suede. It says given that it's cotton. So cotton is going to be uh, what is promised to you. So automatically, you know, it's going to be uh, three plus six is out of nine. So over nine. And then the second half of that statement, or I should say the first half, it says, uh, what is the probability selected? Uh, is shaped like a bat wing given that it is the uh, made out of cotton. So what's the probability of a bat wing if it's made out of cotton? Well, if it's made out of cotton, it's nine and the bat wing is going to be six. So the probability that you are choosing a bat wing given already the promise that it's going to be cotton is going to be six over nine. Okay. Uh, simplify that down. It's going to be two over three and that's going to be your solution. Okay. Uh, what is the probability that a randomly selected patient is 13 to 19 years old, given that the patient suffers from ankle pain? So given that suffers from ankle pain, We'll go to ankle pain. How many suffered from ankle pain? That's going to be four. Okay, so out of four. And then um, probability that randomly selected patient is 13 to 19. So the 13 to 19 is just going to be two out of the four for ankle pain. So it's going to be two out of four or just one half. Okay, I'll do another one here. What, what is the probability that a randomly selected day is one when he slept exactly six hours, given that the day is one when he drank exactly one cup of coffee? So how many days, uh, given that the day is one when he drank exactly one cup of coffee? So we'll do one cup of coffee right here. So it's going to be out of seven. It's going to be given that he drank one cup of coffee. So it's going to be out of total seven. You're given that information. Um, and so how, what is the probability that he slept exactly six hours on that uh, with that circumstance? Well, that is going to be uh, right here, R2 value, six hours in the uh, one cup of coffee. So it's going to be Okay, so one where he slept six hours for that one cup of coffee, so that's gonna be two. So two chances out of the total seven, that is going to be a cup of coffee, because remember it's given that it's the cup of coffee. So it's two out of the seven. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm going to jump, then jump again. Okay, now we're up to three rows. What is the probability that a randomly selected bottle is made out of plastic, number four, given that the bottle is incorrectly placed? So how many bottles were incorrectly placed? Uh, eight plus four is 12, 12 plus 15 is 27. So out of 27, right? And what is the probability that a randomly selected bottle is made out of plastic, number four? So plastic number four and incorrectly placed is gonna be just 15. So it's going to be 15 out of 27. And can we re reduce that down any further? Yes, you can uh, divide both by three. So 15 divided by three is five. 
And 27 divided by 3 is 9, so 5 over 9. That is correct. Okay, same thing except four rows. I'm going to jump to 83. Four rows. I'm going to jump to 92. Same thing except five. So I'll just do this one and, and uh, finish off here. So it says the probability that a randomly selected marble is green given that the marble is big. So how many marbles or what's the chance is going to be big? Five plus two is seven. Seven plus 14 is 24. 24 plus zero is 24. And 24 plus 16 is going to be 40. So out of 40, so given that it's going to be big, what's the probability that it's going to be green? So green under big is 2. So it's going to be 2 out of 40. You can reduce that by half. So uh, it's going to be 1 out of 20. 1 out of 20. And there we go. Okay. So with that, I'll just say that when they give you these tables, keep in mind you will not be using every single piece of information in these tables, so don't feel bad about that. Okay, you're just looking for certain information given that uh, you're looking at a piece of information uh, elsewhere on the table. So uh, that is it. Study hard, stay safe, and I will catch you next time for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.